The Smart Entry System with Push Button Start offers enhanced convenience. As long as the Smart Entry remote is within about one meter of the driver's door, you can unlock the door by simply touching the inside of the handle. Note that if you touch the handle when wearing gloves, the system may respond more slowly or may not unlock the doors at all. Once in the driver's seat, the engine can be started on automatic transmission models by just stepping on the brake pedal and pressing the engine start-stop button. On manual transmission models, the clutch pedal must be depressed. If the starter doesn't respond, it may indicate that the battery in the smart entry remote is running low. In this case, push the start-stop button until the green light on the button flashes. Touch the remote to the start-stop button. You'll then hear a tone. Within 10 seconds, push the button again with the breaker clutch depressed to start the engine. Directions for replacing the remote's battery can be found in the owner's manual. To turn the engine off, make sure the shift lever is in park or the emergency brake is applied on manual transmission models and press the engine start-stop button again. In an emergency, the engine can be shut down by quickly pressing the engine start-stop button two times or by holding the button for at least one and a half seconds. After exiting the car, the doors can be locked by pressing the button on the outside of the driver's or passenger's door handle. If the smart entry remote has been left in the vehicle, however, the doors won't lock until the remote has been removed. This prevents you from being locked out of the car. Unlocking and opening the trunk is just as easy as the doors. While the smart entry remote is within about one meter, simply press the trunk release button and the trunk lid will pop open. If the remote is left inside the trunk and the lid is closed, a beep will sound and the trunk lid will pop open again automatically.